So hey everyone, welcome back to DV Tech. So you're back with a new interesting video. So in this video, you're going to be installing Lineage OS on your PC or your laptop. So all you need to do is follow my steps. So let's move wait and quickly get into the video. So if you're new to this channel, please do subscribe to the channel for more technical and interesting videos. So let's move wait and quickly get into the video. To install Lineage OS on your PC, all you need to do is follow my steps one by one without skipping. So this is one of the simplest and easy way to install and use and it is not complicated. So you can freely use it. So all you need to do is follow my steps to install the OS without any errors. So let's not waste the time and quickly see how to install. So the first thing you need to do to install the Lineage OS on your device is open Google Chrome and type Lineage OS 14.1 x86. So you need to type this and click on enter. So once you click on enter, you could find the first official website that is really CM. So you need to enter that and you can find the first link. So that is OSDN.net. So you need to tap on it and it redirects to another website. So here you could find the option called CMX86 14.1 R5. You need to tap on the ISO file. So once you tap, you need to wait for a second. So it takes up to five seconds to get your download started. So once it is done, as you can see now your download is started. So let me go to the downloads and show you. So as you can see now the file is downloading so you need to have some patience so before that let us download the Rufus so we need Rufus so once you type Rufus it redirects to the official website I'll be giving you the link in the description you just need to tap on it so you can scroll down and you can find the download link so once it is done I'll show you in the downloads so as you can see now two different files are downloading so one is Rufus that is already downloaded and another one is the ISO file it is downloading so this is very simple to ensure all you need to do is follow my steps so let us wait and have some patience to get downloaded So as you can see now the two different files are downloaded so let me click on show in folder so these are the two files required to install so for better understanding let me paste it in the desktop so as you can see now the file is pasted so let me close all the files so here are the two different files so let me open the rufus so once you open the rufus make sure you connect your pen drive or your removable disk so let me connect mine so as you can see now my device is connected so now you need to select your iso image so all you need to do is click on select and tap on your iso image so as you can see now your file is inserted now all you need to do is click on start ok ok and ok so these are three times you need to tap on ok and you need to wait so once this is downloaded you need to eject your pen drive and connect it to your device or you connect it to your laptop where you want to install the lineage os So as you can see now the pen drive is ready to boot. So all you need to do is click on close and eject your pen drive. Now it's time for booting. So now it is time to boot. Make sure you connect your pen drive to your PC or laptop to install the Lineage OS. So the first thing you need to do is enter the boot manager. So you need to press the F12 delete. It depends on your system. So in mine it is F12. So now let me go to the BIOS. So here it is. So if you have a high-end system, you could directly install it by entering to the boot manager. But I have a low-end system, so I'll go to the BIOS and install. So you need to go to the save and exit and select your USB or let me select my Sanders. So once it is done here, what you need to do? You need to go to the advanced option. So once you go on advanced option, click on enter. So here you could find an option called auto install to hard disk. You need to tap on yes. So once it is done, you could see that Android X86 is installing in your PC. So now it is time for formatting your hard disk. You need to select the partition where you need to install. So the first one is the hard disk and the second one is the removable disk which have connected to install the OS. So let me click on hard disk. So once you click on the hard disk, you need to click on yes for the confirmation. So let me click on yes. So now as you can see the hard disk is formatting. So once the hard disk is formatted, it is time for installing the OS into the hard disk. So once after the installation, you could find a new window appearing that is run lineage OS and reboot. So you need to click on run lineage OS. So once you tap on that, here comes the startup of lineage OS. So it looks very cool, right? So you need to have some patience and you need to have some really some patience to install. So here you can find an option called next. You need to tap on that and you need to go here. See here you need to select your language. So click on next. So if you want to copy your data or if you want to start up a new device, you need to click on start up a new device. And if you have a network, you could connect it and sign in. If you don't have, click on skip network. And the next thing is your date and time. So you need to set your date and time. So if you don't want, just skip it. So let me click on next. So here you could enter your name. So let me type DVTechis. 
so once it is done it is the next process so that is accepting all the privacy and policy so once it is done just click on next and click on all set so here you can enable the privacy guard so once it is done just click on next so click on start so once after this everything is done so you could select your home app so you could select taskbar or the lineage OS. so let me select the lineage OS. so once you're done click on got it so here's the menu so these are few applications which are inbuilt or which is already installed pre-installed in the os so it looks very cool right and this comes in the eight or the it comes in a nugget os so let me go to the settings but before that let's just see what are the applications so now let me go to the settings and scroll down and to find which os is it in running so as i told you it is in the nugget so here it comes so how many of you remember this so if you remember comment it down in the comment section so let me close this and let us see what are the applications which are pre-installed in it so as you can see gallery but there's no photos or videos available in it so here's the notification bar and now coming to the menu here are some applications play store audio fx gallery phone call and so on so so this is all about the lineage os so i hope this might be useful So I hope you all got to know how to install Lineage OS on your PC. So if you have any doubts in installing or if you're facing any errors while installing, you could comment it down in the comment section. I'll surely help you out to resolve. I'll try to reply to your comments. So if this video is helpful, please give the video a thumbs up, hit the like and subscribe button and suggest us what to do in the next video. Until then, stay tuned. This is Vishwas from DVTechies.